Well, looking at yesterday, that marked the first day of a scholarship bowling tournament in Del Rapids. Our Parker Brown was there to introduce us to the boy who it's in honor of and the community banding together. Welcome bowlers, parents, and spectators. Thank you for attending the second annual Bowling for Xander Scholarship Tournament. Xander Heathcote was more quiet and reserved, except for at the lanes. Here, he was at home. This really wasn't just bowling for him. This became his sanctuary. When he got here in any bowling center, um, a light came on and he was vibrant and talked to everybody and became friends with all of the bowlers. Xander tragically passed away in a bike accident on May 25th, 2022, just two blocks away from his house. The Heathcotes pay tribute to the life he lived by remaining strong. Xander would not have wanted us to stop. Our bracelets after he passed away said, pedal hard, don't stop. And it's just, you keep going. And if Xander was here, he would keep going. The family approached Pins in Del Rapids with an idea to keep Xander's memory alive and honor his legacy of friendship, sportsmanship, and passion for the sport. Hosting a bowling tournament, offering scholarships for youth in the region. In their second year, they've seen tremendous support. This whole deal is a complete example of community and, and what our community really is all about, right? It's, it's such a powerful thing. We're honoring the legacy and, and we're helping kids build their own legacies through the scholarships that they can earn, and that's an incredible thing. With this tournament, Xander's legacy lives on through those who knew him and hold the same passion for bowling. That horrible day in 2022 may have knocked them down, but the community has picked them up so that his legacy will pedal hard and never stop. Life throws us curveballs, and these are the people that are going to be there to encourage you to keep going and pick you up and put you back on your feet and dust you off. In Del Rapids, Parker Brown, Dakota News Now.